Flutter on the Melbourne Cup is uh, an absolute donkey came in uh, and not only just uh, uh, came in at the end, it actually just won the whole race. Led from start to finish. They'll be testing the urine in that horse uh, like no tomorrow. $29 or something uh, to win the Melbourne Cup. So and normally when an outsider wins, the TAB wins also. <laughs> And I'd say that they won fairly heavily, except for those people that were running a fairly average office sweepstake where they chuck in two bucks each and someone picks up, I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks for the win. Uh, there was a bloke in the South Island, uh, a man in his 70s. No, oh, it's definitely not Dan, mm -hmm. and he's close. Yeah, he, um, uh, he's hung up boots, he's put in a hard, hard Sorry. life's work, so he is picking up the pension, and rightly so. And he always has a flutter, but this year the field was looking just a little bit too scratchy for him. So he went uh, and did what a lot of people did, did what we did yesterday. We basically boxed it up, gee. We boxed it up with an easy bet. And basically, uh, for the novices out there that aren't big punters, you get a couple of horses that are looking good, and then you get a couple of outsiders that could possibly come in and make this thing really make it rain. And they can come in and boxing uh, means they can come in in any order. Yeah, so he, um, he chucked 120 bucks which is basically one of the max bets that you can do on that on the first four. Uh, box it up and uh, out came his easy bet slip and uh, he probably settled in to an ice cold Carlsberg and, uh, and, and watched the race unfold. And unbeknownst to us, it was going to go really well for him because his, his 120 bucks was basically 3,000% uh, of the dividend. So when his horse came in, when his horses came in, should I say, he collected a cool $1.2 million on a $120 easy bet generated by the computer. That's the highest payout ever for the New Zealand TAB. Absolutely That's phenomenal. That's why they don't let you put more than 120 on those box pens. <laughs> no, it's because they absolutely screw them over. That is absolutely outrageous. Because if you can look, someone work, because we're too lazy and I can't be bothered punching numbers into a calculator, can someone work out what that is an hour getting paid? It's about three and a half minute race. Oh, no. So in three and a half minutes, he made $1.2 million. Can someone times it out to so a whole hour and there's no figure? Times it by 20. There we go. It's probably it. Yeah, about 20-odd 20, 20 mil. Uh, not bad. Not bad for a uh, not bad for an old boy who's probably looking at, uh, I'd say, splashing it on something that he's always wanted but never been able to afford, and that's, that's great stuff. If you look at how it shakes down, of course, the, two, the, the horses that came second and third, they were always going to be there or thereabouts. Uh, the horse that came fourth and the horse that came first what do you were reckon definitely like they're paying double, double digits. So yeah, what a what a day. Like you know, I think like maybe two weeks. And uh, lo and behold.